Hi, and welcome back. So a new study into Volta Longo's fasting mimicking diet showed metabolic and immune benefits that translated into reduced biological age and reduced disease risk in humans. As you may know, caloric restriction is among the most powerful life extending intervention in mice. However, there's a lack of experimental data on its effects on human lifespan. Continuous caloric restriction is also very hard to maintain in humans in real life. Several substitutes have been proposed, such as time-restricted eating or intermittent fasting and periodic long-term fasting. And there are links in the description below to all the studies and articles I used to put this presentation together. University of Southern California professor, Volta Longo, a renowned geroscientist, has long been advocating for a particular type of caloric restriction, a fasting mimicking diet known as FMD. This diet has shown promising results in mice, including lifespan extension, and it's already been tested in humans. The fasting mimicking diet consists of cycles of normal eating interspersed with five days of plant-based, low calorie and low protein meals. According to Professor Longo, this type of caloric restriction is easier to maintain than an actual water fast, but still reaps many of the benefits. In this new study published in Nature Communications, Professor Longo and his team analyzed additional data from two previous studies, focusing on body composition, liver adiposity, metabolic metrics, and also biological age. Those studies, which included three fasting mimicking diet cycles, already showed reductions in body weight, trunk and total body fat, and blood pressure without any adverse effects. Abdominal obesity is strongly associated with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which is a known risk factor for several age-related diseases. According to this latest study's analysis, the hepatic fat fraction was substantially reduced by the fasting mimicking diet, especially in the participants who'd already crossed the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease threshold showing that the fasting mimicking diet has considerable therapeutic potential against fatty liver disease. The fasting mimicking diet also reduced BMI and total body fat. In participants who were obese at baseline, so a BMI of above 25, the fasting mimicking diet decreased both subcutaneous fat and also the more detrimental visceral fat. And the researchers also analyzed insulin resistance using the homeostatic model assessment for insulin resistance. This is a commonly used composite metric. The analysis found that insulin resistance was significantly reduced by the fasting mimicking diet in pre-diabetic patients. Interestingly, the fasting mimicking diet also seemed to partially reverse a collection of age-related changes in the immune system known as immune senescence. One of the hallmarks is a shift from lymphoid to myeloid ratio, which refers to two major categories of immune cells. Lymphopoiesis produces B, T, and natural killer cells, which are central to our immune defenses. With age, this process unfortunately dwindles, leading to skewed lymphoid to myeloid ratios. Consistent with previous studies in mice, the fasting mimicking diet significantly reverses that decline. The long human lifespan has prompted researchers to seek proxy metrics of biological age that can be used in clinical studies. The researchers in this study used a composite biological age score previously tested in two large-scale studies. According to this score, three fasting mimicking diet cycles reduced median biological age in humans by 2.6 years. That's around two years and seven months. Interestingly, no significant association was found between reductions in BMI and biological age, showing that weight loss was not a major factor. Rather, four other metrics were significantly associated with that change in biological age. They were the markers albumin, C-reactive protein, the long-term glucose marker HbA1c, and systolic blood pressure. Participants who had obesity and elevated CRP elevated fasting glucose or systolic hypertension showed an even greater decrease in biological age, and that being 2.9 years after going the fasting mimicking diet. That's around two years and 11 months. Now, a reduction in biological age is associated with, but not equal to, an increase in predicted life expectancy. 
When the researchers tried to estimate the latter, they found that the fasting mimicking diet increased median predicted life expectancy from 82.2 years to 83.5 years. However, those results only captured the effects of three cycles of the fasting mimicking diet. The researchers tried to predict what the effect on life expectancy would be if people continued to practice the fasting mimicking diet. In their model, the effect of each three fasting mimicking diet cycles became less and less dramatic, which is to be expected. A health promoting intervention is most effective when first applied to a relatively unhealthy organism. Reductions in biological age were eventually replaced by a slower than chronological age increase. According to that model, if someone was to undergo three fasting mimicking diet cycles annually, that person would only be gaining 0.85 years of biological age for every one year increase in their chronological age. That's aging biologically 10 months for every 12 months that you actually live. Accordingly, if this regime of three annual cycles started at the age of 50, life expectancy at 70 would be around five times higher than without the fasting mimicking diet. Of course, this is only a model, and the authors did say that. There are major limitations that need to be acknowledged in regards to our simulation. Despite those limitations, these results are indeed intriguing. The study shows for the first time evidence for biological age reduction from two different clinical trials, accompanied by evidence of rejuvenation of metabolic and also immune function. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. I would like to hear from anyone who's completed, say, two or three rounds of the fasting mimicking diet, or even more. Um, and was it easy or was it hard? Did you feel any specific benefits? And would you recommend it to anyone else?